What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Spin Wheel Park. This will be the final episode of season 1 and whatever we don't get in this season we will get in the next season. So don't worry there's another season incoming. What's in here? Oh the Dunkelosteus. So we're gonna have at least two more seasons basically until we run out of creatures. 50 per so like 50 on the first two seasons and then 22 the last 22 on the third season So that's what we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's begin and Creature number one is or should I say creature number 41? Herrerasaurus all right Starting off strong it looks like all right, so we're gonna have to make a separate enclosure. Here we go That looks round doesn't it? Yeah, round-ish. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, throw the um, reviewing gallery in here. We'll, we'll put a Jurassic Park one in here. Just so we have more paths. Alright, and then we'll get a viewing dome. Like in the back somewhere. Where's the viewing dome? There it is. Viewing dome. There we go. And then we'll put like a... A patch of forest, like in the back. Alright. Let's get a carnivore feeder, like over here. And some goat feeders. Alright, I think the Herrera Soar enclosure is ready. So we'll go in. What did we put in last time? I think that's... Coelophysis. We put that in last time. Alright. <laughs> well, the Herrera Soars are here now, so it's kind of too late to put them back, so... Alright. Wait... Don't Coelophysis actually like the these guys? Oh, the game froze for a second. Yeah, it is getting a little laggy because we have so many dinosaurs in here. All right, let me see. Coelophysis likes everything. Though I have seen them fight, so you know what? I might not risk it with the Herrerasaurus. Herrerasaurus are a little bigger, so... We'll just, you know, throw them in. So, Herrerasaurus will be thrown in here. There we go. We're throwing in Herrerasaurus now. So, these should be relatively quick. Do we have any strong ones? We don't have any strong ones. Alright, good to know. I will wait for those to hatch up. Alright, let's hatch up the Herrerasaurs. Whatever doesn't make it in this episode will make it into the second season. All right, we've got Herrerasaurus. Let's move on to creature number two. And our second creature of the episode is... Ooh, Megalodon, okay. All right, all right. We can throw that like in the back somewhere. Yeah, we could definitely throw it in the back somewhere. So we need a lagoon enclosure. That's what we need. Let's throw Megalodon in here. We'll just have the one. We'll make it relatively small, like not too small, but big enough where the Megalodon can swim around. That should be good. But we're getting Megalodon in the final episode. Let's go. Alright, we'll get some fish feeders because that's what they like. So, fish feeders. Nope, that's wrong one. Or shark feeders, even. There we go. And then we'll get like an aquatic dome. For, like, the middle area. Alright, Megalodon is being hatched up. That might take a little bit. But we'll have to wait and see. The park is being ex expanded. Once again. Alright. We'll wait for the Megalodon to hatch up. That's going to take a little bit. In the meantime, let's move on to creature number three. Creature number three is... Acrocanthosaurus. Okay. All right, we'll have to throw that in somewhere over here. Maybe over here. Acrocanthosaurus can go over here. We'll put like a concrete fence like over here. Big enough where the acro can, of course, roam around. There we go. Let's throw that in. We'll get a carnivore feeder. And then two live prey feeders in between. As well as the forest. And then we should be good to go. Maybe some... Cover this with shrubbery. 
So we have like a more realistic type, whatever. So this will be the Acrocanthosaurus enclosure. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's head over to the lagoon. Once we get to it and release the Megalodon. Let's go. Here it is. Our giant shark has entered the park. So now that means whatever we land on will not be returning for season two of the spin wheel park. We're gonna drain out the wheel till we run out of creatures. That's what we're gonna do. That's our goal. So that's Megalodon done. Let's get the hatchery from the Herrerasaurs. Take that away. I'll fix that in a minute. Or on my spare time. It doesn't matter. This is the final episode anyway. So, alright. We'll throw you here. Yeah, it's gonna keep lagging because we got so many dinosaurs in here now. There's so much going on. Alright. Let's get... Oh no, Acrocanthosaurus is up here, isn't it? Alright, that's gonna take a little bit. So while we wait for that, let's move on to creature number four. Creature number four, what will it be? Let's take a look. I thought we were going to get Thanatos Draken, but nope, Taurosaurus. All right. Now, where can we put Taurosaurus? All right. Do you guys like Taurosaurus? Let's take a look. Huh. You do. You do like Taurosaurus. What about Pachyranosaurus? Do you guys like Taurosaurus? You do not. Okay. We got an Pseudoceratops over here. Do you like Taurosaurus? You do! Okay, we can we can throw them in. Do we have any other Ceratopsians? No. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. Alright, first, before we do that, let's release the Acrocanthosaurus. Let's go. Another Apex Predator. Alright, that's Acrocanthosaurus released, so we'll move you away from here, and then we'll move you back into the, what's this, the gyrosphere? Yeah, gyrosphere enclosure. Obstructed, there we go. So we'll throw the Taurosaurs in here, since they can get on with the Nasudos. So Taurosaurus, will throw that, like, in here. Wait, maybe this could be all one season. And then we could have, this could be Season 1, Phase 1. The second one could be Season 1, Phase 2. And then the third one could be Season 1, Phase 3. Yeah, that could work. And then Season 2, we'll have everything back. Alright, so I think Taurosaurus will be a lot, yep, a lot faster. So we'll wait for them, and then we'll move on to creature number 5, I believe. So yeah, this place is getting pretty crowded. The only hybrid we have so far is the Ankyloticus, which is cool. Alright, Taurosaurus, let's go. Another herbivore. Alright, so that's Taurosaurus, let's move on to creature number five. Creature number five, what will it be? Draco Rex, okay. What we could do is throw them in in the Jurassic Tour enclosure. That's what we could do. We'll throw them with the Alamosaurs. Because I don't think we have any small herbivores that are Pachycephalosaurids. Alright, so let's get Draco Rex. Microceratus, if we get that, I'm pretty sure we could just throw them anywhere. And they'll be fine. As long as they're not filled with carnivores. We'll get all eight of them. All eight Draco Rexes. They should be relatively quick. Let's release them. So now we've got some small herbivores living in here. Let's go. Alright, that's... 
Creature number five, let's move on to creature number six. Creature number six, what will it be? Sukamimus? Okay, all right. So for Sukamimus, we'll have to throw them in a separate enclosure. Let's expand a little here, and then just have Sukamimus living in here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So Sukamimus can have like an enclosure like right over here. And then if we get Baryonyx, we can throw them in with the Sukamimus. Because like with the Carnotaurus and, and uh, Majungasaurus, those two can get on. All right, we need to make this like swampy. Because these guys like are like semi-aquatic. We'll give them a fish feeder or a piscivore feeder. And then just cover this entire area with swamp. There we go. That should be good. And let me get a viewing dome for the Acrocanthosaurus as well. Or should I get a viewing log since it's bigger? We'll get a viewing log since it's larger. We got a little viewing pen for that. All right. Let's, uh... All right. We left it with the... We left the hatchery so we could release the Draco Rexes, so... Now that the Draco Rexes are out and about, let's release the Sukamimus. All four of them. All right, they're going to take a little bit longer, so let's move on to the next creature. Creature number seven is... Ooh, Chasmosaurus, all right. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see what, what these guys like. Do you like Chasmosaurus? You do not. Okay. Do you like Chasmosaurus? All right, you do. You do, all right? What about Nasudoceratops? Do you like, you do not, okay. We got one that does like him and one that doesn't. Okay, good to know. What we could do is just make another little herbivore enclosure. Yeah, that's what we'll do, that's what we'll do. So we'll have another small herbivore enclosure for these guys. Go ahead and put some forest down, a patch of water, and then what do Chasmosaurus like? Let's get the hatchery and, oh wait, we gotta release something else first. We gotta release the Sukamimus first. Let's release them. Well, I kind of like this one. What's your skin color? Great Sandy Desert Pelophylix. Your skin pattern, even. All right. So we got our little herbivore enclosure in here. So we'll just throw this over here for now. And then what we could do is put some viewing domes. And a viewing gallery. We'll get a viewing gallery as well. We'll put one, like, over here. There we go, now we throw them in. So we need some ground leaf. That's literally all they need to be happy. And then I'll, of course, decorate this with more shrubbery as we add more herbivores in. And let me get some viewing galleries, or viewing domes, even. We'll get one for, like, right over here, and then we'll get another for the back. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's release those. All right, those will take relatively quick. So we'll throw them in, and then I think we've got three more to go. Maybe we could add some more small herbivores in here. Yeah, this could be a small herbivore enclosure. Let's release the Chasmosaurs. This could be their home. All right, so that's Chasmosaurus done. Let's move on to creature number eight. Creature number eight is... Ooh, Stegosaurus. Okay, that is going to be a little bit tricky because we have three different enclosures with things that they won't like. So in this enclosure, we've got Huayungasaurus. And you know for a damn fact that the Stegosaurs will not like them. They will get on with Gigant Spinosaurus, so if we get Gigant Spinosaurus, we could just throw them in there. 
Hmm. We've got Ceratopsians galore over here. We've got Taurosaurus in here. We've got Nasudoceratops. In here, we've got Pachyrhinosaurus and Pentaceratops. Now, you know for a fact they'll have a problem with Stegosaurus. All right, let me find a place to put Stegosaurus, I guess. I guess we could put, like, Stegosaurus... We could have, like, another big herbivore enclosure or something. Yeah, maybe, like... We got her source. Yeah, we could throw this, like, in here. I mean, there's really no point. Because we've got, like... Two more. We only got, like, two more creatures after this. So I'll throw that in there. And then let's get the hatchery out. What did we use it for? I think... No, not the Sukamimus. We used it for... Oh, yeah, the Chasmosaurs. So we can easily throw some more herbivores in the Chasmosaur enclosure. I'm thinking for these, we'll put in smaller herbivores. And then for the Stegosaur, we'll put in larger herbivores. That's what we'll do. So if we get, like, Brachiosaurus, then we'll put Brachiosaurus with the Stegosaurs. Or if we get something like, uh... Hmm, maybe Microceratus, we'll throw them in with the... The Chasmosaurs. That's what we'll do. Alright, so Stegosaurus, what do you guys like? Alright, we'll throw the Stegosaurus in here. We'll fill this place up with, what was it, ground fruit and ground fiber? Alright, so how long will the Stegosaurus take? 22 seconds, alright. Those guys will take a little bit longer. Let's move on to creature number 9. Our second to last creature of phase 1 is... Quetzalcoatlus, okay. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. So, we could easily throw them in the aviary with these guys. Let's release the Stegosaurus first. Stegosaurus taken care of. We'll let them release and let's see. Where's the aviary? There it is. Alright, so let's take a look at Quetzal or Quetzalcoatlus. We'll probably just release the one. Hold on, what are they like? Alright, they don't like Dr. Wu hybrids. They pretty much like Dimorphodon, Tapajara, Sierradactylus, and Barbarodactylus. Okay, so I think Marodactylus, they'll be indifferent by those. We do have Tapajara and Sierra Dactylus, and they do like them. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let's modify the genome. We could either get just the one, or we might get two of them. You know, should we get two of them? Yeah, 45 seconds. We'll throw you in, and we'll throw you in. All right, in the meantime, while we wait for the Quetzalcoatlus to be released, let's move on to the final creature. And the final creature of Phase 1 is... Thank you. Because we can just throw them in with Sukamimus. That'll be very convenient. Now I'm pretty sure the only Spinosaurids we have left are Spinoraptor and Spinosaurus. And if you want to count it, Spinoceratops. The Baryonyx we could just throw in with the Sukamimus. Alright, that just lagged a bit. I thought it was going to crash for a second there. Alright, let's get Baryonyx going before... The Quetzalcoatlus are ready to hatch. We'll get them ready, and then while they're incubating, let's go ahead and release the largest pterosaur in the game. We got one Quetzalcoatlus, and then two Quetzalcoatlus. Ooh, I like these skins. They look nice. Alright, so Baryonyx should be ready to go. Yep. Let's release our final creature of Phase 1. The Baryonyx. Alright. So this is phase one basically completed, and we've got a bunch of space here to spare. So we've got a total of 50 species in the park, 230 specimens. 
That's, that's crazy. So yeah, and with that, that's gonna have to wrap it up for phase one. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Please stay tuned for Season 2 or Phase 2 of Season 1, as well as Season 5 of The Sanctuary. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.